couple of quick experiments which you need to know. These are mandatory experiments for junior cert. They will have to be written up, and this is just acting as a form of revision. So the energy conversions, the first one we're looking at is converting electrical energy to magnetic energy to kinetic energy. So electrical energy is coming from the battery there. What type of energy is providing our electrical energy? Chemical. chemical. So strictly it's chemical to electric. Uh, we want to make something, somehow we want to get magnetic energy. So to do that, we're going to pass the current to a coil of wire. When we pass that current to a coil of wire, what do we call the coil of wire? So a magnet. So we pass this to the coil of wire. This now becomes an electromagnet. So this now becomes magnetic, and therefore to show it's magnetic, I want to see it picking up things. And the second thing is, what sort of energy is going on if I'm making something move? Yeah. Kinetic. Kinetic energy if I'm making something move. And finally, just to show that it doesn't work unless the current is going through the circuit, if I disconnect it, it loses its magnetism. Okay? So electrical energy to magnetic <coughs> energy to kinetic energy. And quite often when people are writing this up, they forget about the nails and they forget to say the nails are get, att get attracted up to the coil of wire. If you don't do that, then you're not so showing the kinetic energy. Okay? The second one is nice and easy. It is to do with light. Converting light energy to electric energy to kinetic energy. So we start off with my light energy. Light bulb. So I'm getting light energy coming out of that. Now I want to convert that to electrical energy. And using electrical energy, I have the solar panels. And the solar panels take in light energy and convert it to electrical energy. Okay? So I've got light What's going from my solar panels to the fan is now going to be what? What type of energy is going from? Going from the solar panels to electric energy. Electric energy. Okay, so it's light in the, coming into the solar panels. The solar panels convert the light energy to electric energy, and then hopefully, if I put it up really close, and give it a kickstart, we get our kinetic energy. Okay? Third one is converting chemical energy to electric energy to heat energy. So chemical energy is going to come from my battery to electric energy. If I have a full circuit, if I connect both of these up, I will then have electrical spark. And what will happen is I get a lot of electric energy. And that electric energy will actually heat up the wires inside. And it will be heat energy. But to kind of measure the heat, we want to have some way of putting a number on how much it heats up. So how do we measure an increase in temperature? Thermometers. So what we want to do is somehow show that this heats something up and measure the increase in temperature using a thermometer. What they can do is pass the electricity, the electric current through this wire here. It heats up. It will give out a small amount of light, but the amount of light it heats off will be so small that we probably won't even notice it. Okay, so what we're now going to do is put this into the water. So that should make it, assuming it's in there all the way, and this, put this into the water. And now the wire is going to heat up, and that's going to heat up the water, and we can measure all of that using this guy here. Now again, it may take half a minute or so to heat it up, so we just leave it there. Is it is increasing as we look at it? No. No. Okay, we'll give it there for half a minute. We'll take a look at it again in half a minute. So you're going to leave that running. Okay. So we're measuring a temperature again here, and this time temperature is increasing. So Richie's going to tell us the new temperature. Can you focus on that, Alex? Yep. Okay, the temperature is 40 degrees, and it's still going up. So what we've got is an increase. What are our different energy conversions? What was our first energy? Chemical. Chemical to what? Electrical. To heat. To heat energy. And it's 45 degrees. So we've noticed a heat energy difference there. That will do for that experiment. Okay, you remember those three demonstrations? Perfect. Thank you very much.